you know, first and foremost, empowerment nine, I really, really got full blown God. Um, just this recognition of open intelligence and simultaneously all the avoidances of relationship because I had been, re- been avoiding open intelligence. I mean, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. So here was this incredible uh, recognition of love, love like I had never felt before, an understanding of love like I had never felt before, and simultaneously this total grief of seeing. It was almost like my life was passing before my eyes. I saw all of my relationships and how I had avoided them and the ways that I had used to avoid them. And uh, so once, you know, that became very clear to me, uh, fortunately, I had uh, two people in my life where I could, well, more than that, but right immediately, two people in my life that I could practice open-hearted relating with, you know, really relying on natural connection, um, innate unity, and respectful relating, and that was my children. So the, the first half of their life, the way I related to them was um, basically caretaking and codependency, I would say. You know, of course, there was just an a open-hearted love connection with them, a real groundedness and openness that has always just been part of our relationship. But there was also um, the means and methods of, of really trying to manage their data. You know, any kind of affliction that arose for them, I had to somehow change it or fix it or rearrange it or massage it or soothe it, you know, because I didn't know about um, the truth value of affliction in my own life. I didn't know about that for them. So I really thought good parenting was to, um, you know, take care of them in that way so they never felt pain. And so they never felt confusion. And um, there were a lot of different ways that I did that. And none of it proved effective. You know, it, it just was not of ultimate support for them. It was not empowering for them. And um, once introduced to open intelligence and with the 100% commitment to Uh, rely on the four mainstays. You know, I had all the support there to really shift my parenting. And this came about very naturally for me. It came, you know, it just unfolded very organically. And instead of trying to, you know, fix them, instead of trying to massage and soothe their data, all of their thoughts, emotions, and experiences, I simply allowed it all to be as it was. And they could immediately feel the um, just impact of this. You know, they, they recognized my relaxation in the face of their data. They felt deeply my stability in the face of whatever was going on for them. And it really was the ultimate support, just the presence, you know, of open intelligence um, transmitted through just through my commitment you know, was of the greatest support to them. So no longer, you know, was there a a movement to change and rearrange anything that was coming up for them. You know, the responsibility really was given back to them. And um, because I was beginning to see myself as naturally perfect, just this exalted nature, you know, that's what was shining so brightly and and primary when I was in relationship with them. That's how I saw them. So I knew no matter what that they were going to be fine. Like all of a sudden I knew no matter what they were going to be completely fine. They could go through anything and they would be fine. And um, and another part that was really... um, just a, a, a really large and empowering shift was that before I thought that them, their emotions and them having permission to emote or say anything they wanted was really this, you know, free loving way to go, this great empowerment and parenting. And of course, after uh, 
just a few months in the balance view training, I realized, you know, that wisdom speech was really where it was at. You know, this is, this is uh, a, demonstrated, a demonstration of our exalted nature and that this was what I wanted for them. So no longer were they able to just spew whatever they wanted whenever they wanted. You know, they weren't allowed to dump all their data, you know, all over who was present. And they weren't allowed to um, be harsh with each other or me or anyone else. And, um, you know, there was just a, a newfound skillful means. And of course, this, you know, really, really uh, increased and developed over time for me. Um, just a gradual unfolding of skillful means. But um, just these, the, yeah, just a, a, a newfound ability to support them in a way where they were going to, uh, and they did just tap into natural relating, open hearted relating. And um, one other aspect was, was that I really saw in my kids that um, they were just naturally moralistic and ethical. You know, this isn't something that I needed to teach them. This was just a part of their lives. It was a part of who they were as open intelligence and, and that they had a responsibility um, with correct logic and reason you know, with correct logic and reason from birth, you know, I saw that they had correct logic and reason and, um, and that I didn't need to, you know, teach them right or wrong. Of course, there are things, you know, guidance and, and boundaries, but they really knew instinctively, you know, what was going to be of most benefit. And I began to really trust that in them, completely trust that in them. And... Um, even when, you know, there were mishaps and mistakes. I mean, my daughter was, you know, a teenager for three years. There were three really kind of wow things that, that happened, and she got in big trouble. And, and uh, instead of, you know, there were some consequences, but instead of this, like, you know, what were you, you were wrong, this and that, you know, I really could communicate with her on a level that reached her just natural moral and ethics you know, her, her natural ability to take responsibility. And when she was a junior in high school, she looked at me and just said, you know, I really learned from those mistakes. You know, I'm glad I made those mistakes. I'm sorry for what happened, but I really learned from those mistakes. So there's just, you know, it was so clear to me that there was just an, a natural ability for everyone um, to really know what is of true benefit and to, to be able to trust that in themselves.